between my sewing projects and my crafting projects, I'm forever getting something on my iron. And that's a real bummer for those rare occasions when I want to use it to actually, you know, iron clothes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie, this is The Normal Girl Show, and today I'm gonna show you my top three ways to clean an iron. Stick around, pick your favorite. Up first, we've got our old pal, vinegar. Start with an unplugged and cool iron, and I like to empty the water tank so I don't have to worry about water spilling out while I'm cleaning my iron. Over low to medium heat, mix together half a cup of vinegar and an eighth a cup of salt, and you can use any salt for this. And while this vinegar is warming, continue to stir it until all this salt dissolves. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool to the point where you won't burn your fingers on it. Wet a terry cloth towel or rag in the vinegar and salt mix, and then use it to wipe down your iron sole plate. If you've got buildup in the steam holes, just dip a cotton swab into the vinegar mix, and then you can just use that to wipe them out. Now if things have really gotten out of hand with your iron, or you just can't get past that vinegar smell, then you may want to try using a baking soda scrub instead. Mix together two parts baking soda to one part water to make a wet scrub. Then dip your towel into the mix and make sure you get a bit of that baking soda on there. Then use it to scrub your iron until it's clean. And before you start this, make sure your iron has been unplugged and allowed to cool completely. And if you need some extra scrubbing power for heavy buildup, just add one more part of baking soda to your mix so that you end up with a really thick paste. Then use a scrubbing pad along with the paste to scrub all this gunk off. Then just wipe any excess baking soda off, dry it, and your iron is good to go. The toothpaste method has been around for decades. And while I personally prefer the baking soda scrub, this totally works, especially if you're in a pinch and it's all you've got. So the key is to use an actual toothpaste, not a toothpaste gel. Squeeze a small strip of toothpaste, about the amount you'd use on a toothbrush, onto a towel. Then wipe down your iron sole plate using circular motions and a little bit of elbow grease to scrub off all that gunk. Once you've got it clean, use a damp towel to wipe off the toothpaste, and you may need to use a cotton swab to get any extra paste out of these steam holes, and then just dry off your shiny, gunk-free iron. Now regardless of which cleaning method you choose, before you iron for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of these steam holes have been cleared out. To do that, start by filling the tank with water and then turn your iron to a steam setting. And once it's hot, press the steam button a few times and then iron an old towel to make sure nothing comes out of the steam holes. So that's all there is to it. A clean iron, ready to be destroyed with more crafting and sewing fun. All right, let me know in the comments if you give this a try and which method was your favorite. And be sure to hit subscribe to get notifications about new episodes of The Normal Girl Show coming every week. Until next time, stay normal.